Hello guys, thank you very much for joining in. We're going to be starting out with the second part of the external and internal rating agencies chapter. Okay, from the exam perspective, this section has an important part. Kindly mark this rating transition matrix as star. Okay, star for the exam. Very high chances that they might test you over here. Now, what exactly is a rating transition matrix? Okay, it is basically a matrix created by each of the uh, rating agencies. They create their own matrix and this matrix is generally created for period of one year. Okay, generally for one year. Okay, now one of the examples of matrix is given over here. This matrix helps you understand that if you start, if you start in a particular year, okay, at at a particular rating, okay, and then at the end of the year, what is the probability that you would move to an other rating? So I want everybody's attention over here. Now let us let let me take some number and let me take some session over here or point over here okay so suppose if i start if i start with a today my rating today is a okay and after one year what is the probability that i will my rating will get downgraded to triple b that probability is 5.33 percent that probability is 5.33 percent i'll take one more example for the benefit of the audience Okay, rating transition metric, it gives me an idea. If I suppose start at double B, that means if I start over here, double B, what is the probability that I will be upgraded? I will be upgraded to a single A rating in, the, in one year's time. It is going to be around 0.12%. It is going to be 0.12%. Okay. So now I'm asking you questions, okay? So my first question would be, suppose if I start with double A, then what is the probability that after one year, I will be at double B? Come on guys, give me an answer. If I start at double A, what is the probability that I will be at double B? Yes, it is going to be 0.05. I want participation from people, all of you. Okay. Second, second question, which I'm asking you. Okay. If I start at say single B, what is the probability that I will end up being a triple B company after end of one year? If I start from single B to triple B, what is the probability? The answer to this question is 0 0.19. That's correct. One more example, okay? Suppose if I start at triple A, what is the probability that I will remain at triple A after one year? What is the probability that I will remain at triple A after one year? That's correct. It is 87.05, 87.05% probability, okay? Fourth, one more example that I, I'm going to ask you guys. If suppose I start at triple B, what is the probability that I will end up end up defaulting? I will end up defaulting in a year. I'll end up defaulted in the year. It's 0 0.18. Okay, so I just gave you a brief of how to read a transition matrix. Okay, so I've done, we have done three, four example. Okay, and we, the main part which generally happens in the exam is the question that they might ask you okay we'll go towards the question now but first i want everybody to start reading this section okay now in this section they are they're talking about not being rated also so companies who are not rated night right now so rating agencies are not giving you any rating there is also a probability attached to it so they've given you an example suppose you start at triple c what is the probability that you will end up being not rated that is 15.39 percentage there is no need to remember this matrix in the exam. They will give you the matrix. Okay. I want everybody to read this paragraph. I want everybody to read this paragraph connected to the table that we just now discussed.
read that entire paragraph what is that number 87.05% that means if i am already a triple a what is the probability that i'll keep that rating that has been given over here 87.05% what is this 43.97% can we see that number okay contrast with that triple c okay 43.90% which means if i am already a triple c or single c company what is the probability as per the matrix that i will remain in that same rating that is 43.97% okay right and what is the probability that i will get downgraded to default that is 26.78% and what is the probability that i will be not rated by the rating agency 15.39% right so it basically helps you to it basically helps you to cover with whether i'll be upgraded or downgraded to a particular rating what is the probability associated with that okay the main part which i want you to highlight over here mark this as star the rating matrix phenomena reflects the fact that a downgrade in one year has more likelihood of being another downgrade in the next year what does that mean see rating downgrade this entire uh, structure of the rate, uh, rating transition matrix it works on the logic that if you have downgraded in a particular year okay next year there is good chance it, it it doesn't say that you will always downgrade no it says there is greater chance that you would end up getting downgraded again in the next year okay but see this is just an understanding that you have with respect to the market your understanding can definitely go wrong there can be a company which was which was not doing good but suddenly something happened some change happened and their product was hit in the market and they again came back to a very good rating that can also be there okay perfect that's the first three lines i want everybody to read that first three lines highlighted on the screen that's why likelihood that's correct that's the reason we have explicitly mentioned likelihood okay the last two lines of that paragraph okay the figure which means the table is basically driven by the economic cycle hence what we try to do is we try to use through the cycle rating what was through the cycle rating we have already covered that it, it's an average rating which has been given to cover the impact of the entire cycle through the cycle rating perfect average rating i hope everybody has been able to read that paragraph now let us go towards the question read the question properly we have been given a one year transition matrix okay one year transition matrix and we have to find the probability that a b rated firm okay will default over a period of two years now this matrix is for one year but you have to find something for two years now over here we are going to do an explicit assumption that the rating matrix next year will also remain same okay that's the basic assumption that we have to work with okay now the rating matrix is very simple and easy in reality the rating matrix might be slightly bigger but for the benefit of the exam or for the benefit of the question they have given it a very small reference over here oh, the matrix itself is very small okay now let us let us try to create the scenarios what can happen okay so suppose if you start at b what all things can happen with you okay either in the first year you will go at a either in the first year you will go at b that means you will remain at the same rating either you will go at c or either you will downgrade or you will become default right perfect so what is the probability now i want you guys to answer what is the probability that you are at a so you are at b and now you are going to move at a in one year what is the probability for that looking at the matrix right this 5% fairly simple because it is available over here i'm just highlighting 5% this is only for one year we are only talking as of now for one year okay what is the probability that you will move from ad uh, from 5 b to b that's the 85% probability then the next is going to be 5% and next is going to be 5% okay our intention is to find what is the probability that the firm will default okay so this scenario of d reflects that part that okay within the first year within the first year you will default so what i will do is i will take this 5% and i'll take it over here i'll just keep it over here 5% because this represents default in one year and i am concerned with both the years one year and the second year 
perfect now let us go to the second year scenario okay if suppose you you had reached to rating a that means you got upgraded to rating a and then you got defaulted in the second year then you got defaulted in the second year what is the probability of that what is the probability of that 0% right as per the matrix 0% okay so what is going to be the joint probability of both the things happening what what is both the things you getting up, upgraded from b to a and a to d that is going to be 5% into 0 so the answer is going to be 0% 5% into 0 the answer is going to be 0% let us go to the second scenario okay when we say joint probability basically means both the things happening together okay we basically multiply we're going to be covering this in detail in your probability chapter also let us go to the second part if you are at b what is the probability that you will end up defaulted what is the probability five percent from the table now if you want to find the joint probability what should be that number 85 percent into five percent that is going to be four point two five percent fairly simple let us go to the third one if you are from c and moving to d what is the probability that you will default from c to d it has to be 15 percent it has to be 15 percent let us do the joint probability that's going to be what 0 0.75 percent now if i want to find the total probability of default in the second year i will have to add all of them i'll have to add the 0 percent 4.5 percent and 0.7 percent all the joint probabilities this will lead to five percent okay so this is for second year and i have this for one year so what is the total probability of defaulting in both the years in the first year and the second year it has to be 10 percent it has to be 10 percent right now i want everybody to read the content in the example and make sure make yourself comfortable because i'll be giving you a different example now kindly read this question and people who have joined in late this is an important question mark this as star And people who are done with this, looking at the question and the solution, they can put it on chat, their confirmation. Everybody done till here. I'm moving towards one example. Let us look at this rating matrix, rating transition matrix. Now you have to look at this is a one year matrix. Okay, I'm just highlighting it over here. One year matrix. Okay, now you what you have to find, okay, from C to default in two years. From C to default in two years. Now I want you guys to start solving from c to default and once you're done give me the final answer once you're done give me the final answer in the chat the number Come on guys, what is the answer? From C to 
default. Now, ideally, what is going to happen? If you start at C, you can either go to A, either go to B, either go to C, or either you'll default. Okay. In the first year, from C to A is 5%, from C to B is 15%. Okay. And from C to C, it is 70%, and C to default is 10%. So we have identified 10%. Okay. As short shot, that's going to be the default in the one year. What is going to be in the second year? So from A, to default, B to default, C to default. What is the probability of A to default? That's going to be 7%. Okay, what's the probability of B to default? That's going to be 8%. And then C to default is going to be 10%. So the same way you will start doing it. What should be the joint probability of this? 5% and 7%. Is it going to be 0.35%? If I'm not wrong. 15 and 8%. 15 into 8%. What should be the answer? So basically, you have to calculate all the joint probabilities, then find the answer for second year and add it to 10%. You'll get the final answer. I've already done the calculation, which you can see over here. The final answer for both the year is 17%. For first year, it is 8. Second year, it is 10. One second, it is 8. Uh, no, sorry. First year, it is 10. My bad. This number is incorrect. This is 10%. Yes, it is 18.55. See, it's an Excel. So basically, it is not showing you the exact answer. Don't worry. Okay. So the answer is 18.55. I'm assuming everybody is getting the answer. Right? Taking you back to the book. Okay, so mark this question as star. There is good chances that it might be repeated in your uh, 